The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap was released in 2004 for Game Boy Advance. This game, like all GBA games, can run on a DS, so that's what I played it on. Today, we are going to be reviewing it. So, to start off, I want to give my overall opinion. I, I liked it. I really did enjoy my time with the Minish Cap, even if it wasn't very long. The gameplay was pretty fun and smooth, and the controls worked fine, with my one complaint being the items. By the end of the game, you have so many items, yet you can only have two equipped. And if you always want your sword out, that leaves only one. Items like the shield, pegasus boots, or just the option to jump would all be very nice to have all the time, like in Link's Awakening on the Switch. Speaking of the items, while the Minish Cap has all the classics, I did like the addition of some of the more creative items that made for some interesting mechanics, even if you only use them like in one dungeon. The whole option to turn tiny is a really cool part of the game that does make for some tricky puzzles. While the dungeons are pretty basic, I did enjoy my time with them. None were strenuously hard or disappointingly easy, and I think they all did a pretty great job. The music in this game is also pretty basic, as most of the tunes are your basic Zelda songs. Some of the original songs, like the Minish Village theme, are really great though. The game, I, I don't know, it's just really charming. The sprites and pixel art might not be super unique or anything, but the way Link and Ezlo act and how they do things feels fun and lighthearted. Well, the actual resolution is a little cliche, and probably what you would expect from a Zelda game, the actual ending battle was very fun. Vadi is a pretty cool villain, and his final fight at the end is no small batter either. As a Zelda game, I would say the Minish Cap is one of the best top-down Zeldas, and probably my second favorite. A Link Between Worlds still tops that list. On my Zelda tier list, the Minish Cap would be a middle A tier, and I would probably give it an A-. Anyways, I know this wasn't a very extravagant review, and that's probably because there isn't much to talk about when it comes to this game. A short but sweet basic Zelda game is how I would describe it. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again.